Okay, new moon soundtrack, right? songs because I'm too lazy to like learn how to convert them and stuff and I'm supposed to be cleaning my house and I've got like an hour to do all that I need to do. So we're gonna get started, okay? I'm gonna be posting all of the songs and all of the the bands in the sidebar so if you miss anything don't worry I'll I'll they'll be over here. You can go look for the lyrics and because most of the songs they they make sense if you look at the lyrics. Okay. I was a werewolf by Revolution Summer kind of speaks for itself. Um the song really doesn't pertain, but it kind of got that feel and the um, the the sound. It's got a good sound for for New Moon. My best friend by Weezer kind of also speaks for itself because the song lyrics are, "You're my best friend and I love you." Yeah, I love you. It's true. Hmm. Okay. Hi, Jacob. What's up? Paint Me in Your Sunshine by Marie Digby. Um, it's a song for Jake and Bella. Bella kind of being you know, like. Oh, paint me in your sunshine. You kind of make me happy now. You know, I'm starting to, to be okay inside, and this hole is kind of clearing up. Sea of Love by Cat Power. It's kind of like a good, like, oh, you know, come with me, we can be happy, and la 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 song. It was also in the Juno soundtrack, though. Um, there is an original. Cat Power did a cover of it. I just like Cat Power. Um, Chasing Pavements by Adele is a really good song, too. Um, it's kind of like... Should I keep going after this person even though, you know, I know it's not going to go anywhere? It's kind of, it's a Jake and Bella song again. Those are kind of my forte. I Need You by Andrew McMahon. Okay, this song I am going to play because it is freaking awesome. And it is the best song for Bella. <laughs> Um, Remember to Breathe by Dashboard Confessional, it's how Jake feels with Bella, and Day Sleeper by uh, Deer in the Headlights, it has a good song, it's kind of the iron and wine feeling type thing, it's about like Bella in her dark period phasey type situation, it's all like very like, ugh. I Will Possess Your Heart by Death Cab for Cutie, this is a good song for um, you know, like a Jake and Bella hanging around, like montage growing love stuff. Um, Lithium by Evanescence. It's about how S Bella is in this like constant pain, and even though she's in that pain, she doesn't want it to go away because it means that she's if she if the pain goes away, that means she's gonna lose Edward. Um, Sewn by The Feeling. It's Bella to Edward and back and forth and it's how, you know, they kind of live for each other. And if one died, the other one would die too. Do You Realize by The Flaming Lips. This song was on Stephanie Meyer's playlist too and I thought it was a really good song. Um, the lyrics are, do you realize you have the most beautiful eyes? Um, Bella to Edward? What's up? Sorrow by Flyleaf. I'm glad that somebody else brought up Flyleaf. I think it was Sana. Because, um... It doesn't seem like a song, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't seem like a like a band that would normally be on one of these soundtracks. Like, I mean, if you listen to the Twilight soundtrack, but, you know, it fits. Song for the Fields by the Fields. Feel, it feels like it would fit good. Um, it's kind of edgy and kind of, like, indie. Dead Person Breathed on Me by Forgive Durden. Maybe just for the title. How to Save a Life by The Fray. Because everyone in this book needs to be saved. Run, Baby, Run by Garbage. And this song, like, you know, it kind of doesn't make any sense when you first listen to it. And then it's like, it's too late for solutions to solve in the setting sun. Run, baby, run, baby, run. Run, Bella. Run, we Go save Edward. Inches and Falling by The Format. This is another song that I'm going to have to play for you. I love love. I love being in love. I don't care what it does to me. You 
Nor the Moon by the Hush Sound. Now, this is a song um, for when Edward leaves Bella in the woods and she kind of falls him like a big dummy. Um, you don't see beauty calm and clear. Um, that's one of the lyrics. Where We Went Wrong by the Hush Sound is um, how Bella, you know, kind of lost Edward. And there's like this whole section of the song where it just says, baby, come back to me. Baby, come back to me. Baby, come back to me. And it's like the girl and the guy, they're both like switching off saying, baby, come back to me. Because Edward and Bella, they really just, you know, they just want each other. Earth to Bella, part one by Incubus. Earth to Bella. Don't jump. Not everything that you think is right is right, okay? Just because, you know, you hear his voice when you do dangerous stuff doesn't mean you need to jump off a cliff. Stupid. Breakable by Ingrid Michaelson. It's a, it's a good friendship montage song, and it's talking about how, you know, like, we're all really breakable and fragile, but, you know, if you can just get past that, then there's, you know, there's good stuff inside. Lonely for Her by Jack's Mannequin. Andrew McMahon is in Jack's Mannequin, so, all, again, this is an awesome song. It's about, like, Edward and how he wants Bella back, but, you know, he's like, oh, I gotta keep her safe. Also another Eclipse song, um, Criminal by Fiona Apple. And I'm glad somebody else brought up Fiona Apple. Was it Sona again? Thanks is, like, when kind of in Eclipse when Bella is like, oh, but I love, I love Edward, but I'm going to lead you on, Jake. I'm glad somebody talked about the Fine Frenzy, because I hadn't even thought of the Fine Frenzy. I was like, what? The Fine Frenzy? That'd be awesome. <gasps> I'm going to weird in this video. I'm really, really sorry, guys. Oh, Romeo, which Sana talked about. Paramore, Katie talked about, which would be really awesome. Um, I don't have any Muse songs, but Emmy has, like, every single Muse album. So I think that um, Dying Thoughts of an Atheist sounds like it would be good. That sounds stellar. Okay, well, oh man, I have to do my fail cast. Okay, so here's my fail cast. Sorry, different clothes, different hair. Take a shower. Um, okay, Bella would be Angelina Jolie, and it's just like she's not, it's not that she's not pretty, it's that she's just like kind of grungy. And she, you know, she's too old to be Bella, but you know what I mean? She just wouldn't work. Um, Edward would be Matthew McConaughey. I think he would be taking off his shirt during moments in the movie that you didn't need to take off your shirt. Um, Alice would be Tyra Banks, because Tyra Banks is a giant, and that would be absolute fail. Um, Emmett, Vern Troyer, he was mini-me in Austin Powers, speaks for itself. Rosalie would be um, America Ferreira. Not that America Ferrera isn't awesome, but she's Hispanic, and I think that she would be a better Emily than she would um, a Rosalie, because she seems really sweet and nice, and she's a um, Carlisle would be Will Ferrell, um, because Will Ferrell's like a goofy guy, and Carlisle is really reserved, and Will Ferrell can basically only play one character, but it's hilarious, so I watch all the videos. <laughs> um, Esme would be Britney Spears. Tell me that's not fail. Tell me Britney is not fail. Um, Jacob would be Seth Green. Seth Green is really goofy and funny, but he's, like, also a white guy with red hair. Uh-uh. Doesn't work. Um, Emily would be Eva Longoria. I hate her. I just... Ugh. 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 Um, Jane would be Jennifer Love Hewitt with her big, giant head. Um, Arrow would be Danny DeVito. Caius would be Pierce Brosnan. Marcus would be Ray Romano. And Charlie would be Flavor Flav. Yeah.